the children of Israel, led by Moses. And the Lord wanted to relieve them from their slavery. So under the leadership of Moses, they started, they began their lengthy journey in the wilderness. But the Lord wanted to give them his law, his teachings, his testimony. So the Lord called Moses to Mount Sinai, and the Lord gave him, as we all know, the Ten Commandments. So the Ten Commandments were given in the form of two uh, stone tablets, because the Lord gave them and Moses two tablets, because one tablet had to do with our duties to the Lord, our God, and the other tablet had to do with our duties to our neighbor. And since then, Moses made a very special box, which is called the Ark of the Covenant, because it was the covenant between the God and the people. It was called the Ark of the Covenant. And then he put, he placed the two tablets of the commandments in that box. And the box was made of uh, acacia wood. And Moses very uh, carefully uh, layered the box with the pure gold. Since then, the box became the Ark of the Covenant, especially what's in there, two tablets of the commandments, became the most important thing to the children of Israel. And they carried it around all the time when they were wandering in the wilderness. When they were not wandering, they were not traveling, they placed it in the most holy place. And the Ark of the Covenant became the most important sacred thing and also it had amazing power in it. So when the children of Israel had issues and problems, the Ark of the Covenant led them and showed amazing miracles. Now Joshua led the people and he entered the land of Canaan and also they to enter the land of Canaan, they had to cross the Jordan River. But the problem was they did not have any boat and they really could not swim. But the Lord told Joshua and the Lord will show a miracle so that the people will trust in the Lord. The Lord said, Behold, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth is crossing over before you into the Jordan. Now therefore take for yourselves twelve men from the tribes of Israel, one man from every tribe. And it shall come to pass as soon as the source of the feet of the priest who bear the Ark of the Lord the Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of the Jordan, that the waters of the Jordan shall be cut off, the waters that come down from upstream, and they shall stand as a heap. So it was when the people set out from their camp to cross over the Jordan, the Ark of the Covenant before the people, and as those who bore the ark came to the Jordan, and the feet of the priest who bore the ark dipped in the edge of the water, for the Jordan overflows all its banks during the whole time of harvest, that the waters which came down from upstream stood still and rose in a heap very far away at Adam, the city that is beside Jeroton. So the waters that went down into the sea of the Arabah, the salt sea, failed and were cut off, and the people crossed over opposite Jericho. Then the priest 
who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm on the dry ground in the midst of the Jordan, and all Israel crossed over on dry ground until all the people had crossed completely over the Jordan. So the Ark of the Covenant, and in which Moses placed the Ten Commandments, two tablets of the Ten Commandments, became the most uh, special and sacred thing for the people. And all the time, the Ark of the Covenant led the people during their uh, wandering, traveling in the wilderness, also, when they were about to enter to the promised land, they had to cross the Jordan River. And at the same time, the Lord commanded Moses, you need to bear the Ark of the Covenant. And those bearing priests, when their soles of feet touched the edge of the water, the upstream from the water from upstream were cut off and it will stop flowing and will make a huge hip. And in this way, every single person in the congregation could cross the Jordan River. So every person in the congregation crossed on dry land and they safely entered to the promised land. And also the Lord wanted to show another miracle. After this, they came to uh, the first city, Jericho, and they were about to attack. But the Lord told Joshua and the people, very interesting strategy. They were supposed to march around the very sturdy, fortify the city Jericho for seven times, once a day. But on the seventh day, they're supposed to march around the seven times. And what was the rule? The Ark of the Covenant was placed in front of the people. Even though the Lord put some uh, armed soldiers before the Ark and some priests who were blowing trumpets, but technically, the Ark of the Covenant led the people, and all the congregation followed, and they just marched around seven times. On the seventh day, when they marched around, Joshua told, you need to be quiet, and when the priest blowing trumpet, I will say, shout, then you will make noises as possible as you could. And they did that, then what happened? That sturdy, very fortified city, the words of Jericho collapsed. So the children of Israel didn't have to really fight. Because can you imagine that? With that very sturdy and strong wall collapsed, the people in there, the people in Jericho, their hearts melted like water. They lost any courage, any valor, any morale. They just gave up everything. So the children of Israel just took it very easily. So these stories show how wonderful to follow the Ark of the Covenant. In other words, the Ten Commandments. In other words, the teachings of the Lord. It has amazing power. It can save us. It can divide the water and obstacles before us if our direction is right, as long as our destination and direction is right. When we follow the teachings of the Lord, the Lord will remove all the obstacles so this is the way of our doing. It should be. When we follow the Lord, we face many difficult things, many unhappy things. Then let's read the word and let's recite the teachings there. If our intention is right, our purpose is correct, 
the Lord will dispel all the obstacles in front of us so that we may enter his promised land, his eternal kingdom, now and forever.